What's up, everybody? So we are live here. Uh, I want to talk to a couple vendors, uh, just kind of getting some information on uh, some uh, kind of heat presses and then some information on some embroidery machines. So right now we're going to go ahead and do a walkthrough of the whole setup. Uh, so you can kind of see the experience of impressions. I think it's pretty cool today. Not a lot of people here like yesterday, but it's pretty cool. So we can go ahead and follow along. If you guys have any questions about any equipment, just go ahead and post in the comments. Here we are at the Transfer Express booth. So here you can see all the different transfer styles they have, kind of get an idea of what they're doing. You got stalls here demonstrating their equipment. Almost all their machines are sold. But yeah, they got all their advertisements here with everything they do. So pretty cool stuff. I mean, look at the things you can do. I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool. Got that reflective transfer. Look at that. That's pretty cool stuff. I like that. So yeah, we'll kind of walk through just so you guys get an idea of what's here. Uh, but they definitely have like transfers and stuff you can grab so that you can definitely do, you know, different things and whatnot. Um, we got Mamaki here. So they're showing their printers. Montreal sign and graphic products. They're a local company here in California. They actually distribute and carry a lot of Stalls products. So that was pretty cool. Got Alpha Broder in the house. Love Alpha Broder. But you can see all the different products they got there. Comfort wash. From the maker of Hanes. Need any blanks? I don't personally use Hanes, but each his own a lot of cool companies here a lot of major distributors here and you got AutoCap right over there let's go to AutoCap I know a lot of you guys out there some people don't even know about AutoCap they're like what is AutoCap but AutoCap has a lot of cool stuff so but we can see all the cool hat styles uh, this company is based out of Rancho Cucamonga out here in California. This is one of my favorite hats right here, this cork hat. Love that thing. But yeah, they do custom hats too. Like if you order custom hats in bulk, they'll do all that for you. But yeah, they got a good variety of custom hats. Look at these. Those are sick. I like that. That's a cool hat. I mean, this is where I think hats are going is this style right here but yeah that looks good embroidered that's very clean very nice a lot of great hats guys i'm a dixon fan dixon shreddy they do a lot of stuff like this dixon and shreddy so you can order these from auto as well but what i like about auto too is they got a lot of cool cool hats i guess if you're a steelers fan <laughs> there you go A good selection of hats guys a lot of blanks and they're very competitive but I like see you can buy these pork hats you can get a lot of different hats from this company I've actually done some of these on the 360 IQ turned out very well and again got these bars of colors good stuff Great content. Great hats, man. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm already with you guys wholesale. wholesale. I'm not too far from you guys, so I'm live on YouTube, so I'm kind of showing everybody like Very your cool. whole collection because cool. not a lot of people know about auto, you know, as far as where you guys are located here, you know. So <laughs> sometimes I mention auto and they're like, who's auto? Oh, <laughs> because man, that's hilarious. I'm like, you guys don't know. Come on now. But then when they see the products, they're like, oh, wow, that's cool. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. 
stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to highlight the booth a little bit. I appreciate that. So, Thank no you. problem, man. You guys have fun. Thank you too. Yeah. Look at that. Nice stuff. But yeah, you can order custom stuff through them uh, on their website. You know, we got little thread samples. That's cool. So if anybody has any questions, want to see anything specific, but we're going to go ahead and kind of let's walk this way. DTG print, no minimum order. There you go. Custom order your stuff. Come for the free t-shirts. <laughs> but yeah, even if you guys come for the shirts, I mean, they got a pretty cool variety of shirts that you can kind of grab. Not my size. I'm a 2XL. No, surprisingly, there's not a whole lot of people here. So, great time to come. I think today was the perfect day. Even yesterday, it wasn't that busy. Um, so, you know, like I said, you can walk through this thing probably in about four hours. Heck, if you just came today just to grab free t-shirts and samples from the transfer companies, I mean, you're gonna definitely make your money back twice over so pretty cool look at this place Bayside. they got some pretty cool stuff in here I like that stuff very good quality very nice oh that's nice I like that. Uh -huh. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we're live on YouTube right now. Check this one out. 17 ounce hoodie. So you guys have so you guys have wholesale on, on your on your site? Nice. Yeah, so what's what's a hoodie like this run on a wholesale price usually? Man, the quality on that's nice. Yeah. We're gonna take a little few for this. It's gonna be one of our heaviest t-shirts, seven point five ounce. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, you can see all the other stuff up there. Very nice. Very nice shirts here. Good quality. So this one right now you're looking at is be running you around forty-seven dollars, hundred uh -huh. percent made in the U.S. Okay. So it's a little more pricey, but you know try to go for the quality. Yeah, I mean you're looking at at least a hundred something plus <laughs> yeah, for I've that. Seen, I've seen people sell these for two hundred, three hundred dollars. Yeah, easy, right easy. Some custom embroidery or something on that. So heavyweight turn neck. It's gonna be a sixteen ounce. Man, that thing is heavy. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. These are on the thirty-five mark. It's a little more cheaper than that. Cool. Still so, very yeah, cool. high quality. Walk grab a brochure. Perfect. All right. Thanks, man. Can I just stand in real quick? Yeah. Go for it. There you go. I hope the Rams win. I really do. Hey, I want to how are you doing, buddy? Good. I'd love to see the 49ers beat the Rams again. <laughs> All right, you guys. All right, YouTube. So you saw some of the products here. Great products. Uh, this is really high-end stuff right here. So I think personally, if you want to take your business to up a notch, that's where it's at right there. But yeah, I mean, they got laser machine. There's two companies here that are showing laser machines for people that might be wanting to get into patches and laser engraving. Got Zuni. You know, some of the companies that I've seen out here from Pakistan had fantastic products. Like, they had really good quality stuff. And we got Talk Shop. 
So I saw Stan Banks this morning. First guy I ran into as soon as I got here. Of course they got alcohol. <laughs> Say what's up. Never too late to have a drink. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, everybody's pretty cool here. this huh, I have no idea but they're pressing Caesar Pima very nice so we're just kind of in the back area where there's smaller little shops back here Sometimes these little companies need to be recognized. Look on Sign in Global. Cool little products. But I mean, a lot of this stuff that we're seeing here, guys, are shirts with transfers, shirts with DTG. You know, if you came to look at a DTF machine, I mean, there's a lot of DTF machines here. Like, here's one over here. Um, what I'm surprised is that these DTF machines that I was concerned with how loud they might be, they're very quiet. So if you were trying to start a transfer company, this could be the machine and set up here that can help you start a transfer company out of your own garage. I mean, you can, yeah, you can literally start doing custom shirts, print shop out of your garage. And what's cool, this is a powder machine. So you got your transfer here. It prints out the transfers and with the white, your adhesive powder here, pulls it into the heater, dries it, rolls it up. There's other ones that we'll walk through and look at, but I mean, the quality of the DTF is pretty good. I mean, I got the feel. There's a lot of shirts here being made that are being done in DTF. Yeah, exactly. DTF is why I'm here too. Um, I'm going to show you guys a powderless DTF system they have here. It doesn't even use the powder adhesive. So it's just it prints And it's such a small form factor. It's crazy So here we got sign in global USA Sportswear printing, but yeah, I mean Literally DTF is worth it. Let's go. Let's go see some other DTF machines. Oh Let's go say what's up to my boys over here Econo transfers. Uh, I came here yesterday and I got to actually press some Econo Puff vinyl. Oh my God, first time, nailed it. It was pretty awesome, but if you guys are into custom vinyl, you definitely want to check out Econo Transfer. They're uh, definitely popping pretty big. Uh, the, puff, the Puff vinyl is definitely something that's hot. But me, me personally, I think they have the best Puff vinyl that's on the market, so make sure you check out their website. I'm going to actually, I, I grabbed the samples. They have the samples here that they're selling at the show. Um, I'm going to actually make a video on the puff so that you guys can see the quality when it's pressed right. There's so many videos about how to how to press puff the wrong way. So we'll, we'll, we'll get it right. We'll dial it in. <laughs> Sad, my man. Good to see it's you. Good to see you again. How are you? Good, good. Good? <laughs> yeah. So far? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Just doing a walk around and hey. filming the whole place. Good, good. good. How are you doing today? All right. <clears throat> so is she pressing the puff? Yes. All right, so check it out, guys. She right now is pressing the puff vinyl. for. So you're going to see hands-on how easy it is to get it right the first time. Eight seconds. 300 degrees, medium pressure. I did this yesterday for the first time, and like I said, I've never done it before and nailed it with no problem. Look at how perfect that came out. So once again, guys, that looks good. That looks really good. Look at that. That looks flawless. Nice. So, 
go out, kind of transfer, pick up some of their stuff. There's, uh, I'll swing around. Here's their info, guys. So here's some of their info right here. So check them out. Pretty cool. All right, let's go look at some more DTF machines since that's what you guys want to see. All right, so here's the Cobra Flex. This is the no powder DTF machine. This is the one that intrigues me uh, a lot, but I'm going to show you the, the whole... Look at the form factor of this. <laughs> right here to right here. That's literally maybe four feet. Small form factor. What's great about this one, guys, is it prints color, then the white, and the adhesive all in one shot. Rolls it up. You don't need the heater system. So this could be a lot more efficient. I believe this is a dual head. What did you convert the XP15000 to? DTF? So yeah, very cool machines. I believe these machines are in the 27,000 range. Oh yeah. So Cobra Flex, no powder solution. Yeah, these are about 27 G's. Yeah, I actually met up another guy that had the same equipment, so. We got the big boys. Uh, <laughs> this this blew my mind over here. I'm like, yeah. Of course, if you probably go wholesale yourself, but you might be able to get that cheaper if you go overseas. Yeah, it's crazy. Got some conveyor heaters. Bella canvas. Bella Canvas is rocking, so you can come here to see if they're screen printing today. Oh no, they're not screen. They were screen printing over there yesterday, but they got the live DJ. They're rocking. Lane 7. They got some nice stuff here at Lane 7. I mean, look at the hoodies. These hoodies are insane. The quality, look how soft that looks. Nice yeah, stuff. Like a... Really nice stuff. I think when it comes to hoodies, man, you got to go straight quality on hoodies. But everything you see here is quality, guys. Santa, man. We're live on YouTube just showing the people what you guys got here. Absolutely. The quality is phenomenal. Yeah, check out uh, the sweatpants right here. Let's go. Let's go check out some sweatpants, guys. Right. Winter is upon us. On this 10 ounce cross grain got a deep pocket here and then within the pocket you got a second zip up pocket yeah, that's where here. it's at stash of goods there yes <laughs> and then, uh, what we're doing on this we're really trying to uh, give a lot of real estate for decorators so we're new, no seam down the leg a lot of real estate for printing right here uh -huh. as well a little oversized spec on the hoodie we did a half a seam halfway up so you can print on yeah. top of the hood here very nice yeah, that's that's what it's at. Died, cross grain, got a great hand to it. Yeah. So check these guys out. Lane seven, great products, great quality. Do uh, you guys have a brochure? Uh, we ran out. Cool. We took bag and yeah, a bag would be great. I love these bags right here. Cool. That's all set in there real quick. Awesome. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, you guys have fun. You have a car? You have a card? Oh, yeah. Thanks. All right, Todd. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, DTF, DTF. Let's go see the... Here was a... I'm going to take you to a cool DTF machine over here. Yeah, screen printing. So if you guys are into screen printing, they got some pretty wicked machines here. I'm not into screen printing myself. I mean, there's to me, there's just so many other methods of printing. It's it's crazy. All right. So this is the one I came to yesterday. They were talking about the machine. So here you can see see it in action. It's pretty fast. Yeah. 
So this is powderless DTF. Take care of it. So these are already done. But yeah, this is the one where no powder, adhesive, all in one. A lot of time is being saved on this. So you could probably say 27 grand is a lot of money, but there's a lot of time being saved on this machine right here because you're not having to do the powder. You're not having to do the dry system. You just simply print. The adhesive is there. You cut it and you press it. Plain and simple. What's up, my man? Good. It's good to see you again. Good to see you. This time we're live, so I wanted to show them your machine here, okay. and what they were curious about was the price on these machines, what so, they're running, and, and the, the service that you get on these machines. So the price for the service special is $47,995, and also including a roll of 300 feet long, 24 inch uh, film, and a first set of me. Nice. Um, the service, we basically are going to train you on the, on the software, how to prepare the files, and print the files. And nice. Obviously, we're going to go through all the transfer process, too. And it's a one-year warranty um, on one printhead for one year. Very nice. So there you go, guys. Uh, again, time is a factor when you don't have to deal with all the other crap and then getting powder all over the place. The stretchability on this stuff is pretty insane, too. Uh, he actually showed me that yesterday. So there's the other company. Now your company is out of where again? El Monte? We're out of Santa Ana, California. Oh, Santa Ana. Okay. And then EXT is the company? EXT Fabrics. All right. And we're uh, also a Thai sublimation service provider. Yes. And we're not just a one-stop shop. We've been right, right. We've been for about seven years. So that's cool. So if you're into cut and sew, there you go. EXT. Cool, man. Yeah, I wanted to show them this machine because this was my favorite machine, I think, out of all of them yesterday. Thank you because of the form factor so uh, this is real sleek we're gonna we probably sold about six of them already yeah so it's, it's really good it's so quiet too <laughs> <laughs> you know if you want to run this from you know a shop i mean having the having it be really quiet too is a big deal yeah. you know and, so and the, and the footprint is small because real estate's so expensive right so you have a small footprint this will actually be like fit like two two of a powder machine right? yeah so. and what's cool too with a lot of people these days doing doing this stuff from home you know, home-based business. They can stick this in a room. They can put it in a, in a garage. You know, something. It's all single-phase power, so. so it'll work in somebody's home. Now, with this one, what's the humidity factor have to be like on this? So we'd like to say it's just an office room environment, but it does like humidity if you want. You can get it up to like 40 to 40 to 60 percent. It runs perfectly great. Okay. As you can see in here, it's not that. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Very good. Cool, man. It was good seeing you again. Yeah, we'll you. talk again. All right, guys. So there it is. There's that one. That that one was pretty cool. That was my favorite machine. So it just looks really cool too. I mean, it's got great colors, great quality. So let's uh, let's see that company. I think they're over here. So this one over here from New Sign. This one had the fluorescent colors. So they've got all the fluorescent inks. I mean, they got a all that set up on the back so they got the neon this one was pretty nice i mean if i was looking into another machine this could be a two so there's the fluorescent colors this could be a money maker too because it's going to open up your printing to doing a lot of fluorescent color stuff see the black light hitting all those fluorescents so there you're going to open up your print shop to doing dtf or as they call it, FTG, film to garment is the new word. But you can see here, those fluorescent colors, I mean, that's going to hit big on apparel and open up your business to being able to make more money because you can offer more colors in different ways. When the holidays come around, you can do stuff like this. You know, so very cool if you're doing special events like raves, you know, nightclub life, whatever. I mean, you can make cool stuff with this. So this is another great machine here. Very quiet too. I mean, I was shocked how quiet this thing is. It's not very loud at all. This one is just another clean machine. So uh, 
<laughs> this is the machine. And of course they've got the samples here as well. And they've got more transfers over here that you can take. Thank you. You're welcome. So yeah. So this one has a fluorescent color. It's the same machine but we bought an additional fluorescent color. Yeah. What does this machine run? Like what's the total cost on this on a machine like this one? About twenty six thousand dollars. Twenty six with the fluorescent colors? Yes. Uh -huh. That's pretty good. That's not bad. That is that include training and setup and uh include one set of ink uh -huh. and a media and one powder, one media and uh, training installation. Okay. And then you come out and train and do all that stuff yeah. in that price? Yes. That's not bad. And where are you guys out of again? Uh, uh, we locate in the Pomona. Pomona? Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. Uh, if you're out of Pomona, out of Pomona area or anywhere in the Inland Empire, this company's very close to you. So you might want to check out New Sign. That's a pretty good deal for this setup here. You know, 26,000 plus. And you get, like I said, all the fluorescent color inks. And they come train and set you up. So you can win both for yeah. the normal uh, color and fluorescent ink. Very nice. Yeah, that's cool. I love it. This is this was my other favorite machine here yeah. at this event, and I was surprised how quiet it is. Now that's a dual head. Uh, we have three heads. Uh, three heads. Yeah. Okay. One for CMYK, one for the uh, fluorescent white. ink, and one for white. Oh, gotcha. Cool. Very nice. Very nice machine. I like yeah. it. Thank you. And what's the warranty on that? Uh, for the one year, so we warranty and uh, whatever happens, we, we, we repair. Okay. If something happens with the print head, we replace the print head. Very good. And what print heads is this using? Uh, Epson. Epson print head? Yeah. What model? I believe the latest one, 32 or something. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, there you go, guys. So there's that machine there. So like they said, they, <laughs> they don't call it DTF. They call it FTG. That's going to be the new name for DTF. Film the garment. <laughs> Not the film, uh, two garments. Film the garment. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so as you see, guys, pretty quick, it's moving. And you can hear it, I mean, it's not very loud. Maybe I'll go on your camera. Yeah, yeah. Look at those colors, man. Those colors. For three head, that, that's good. Less things to break down. You can get a four head, but those things are expensive. But look at that. That's beautiful. Comes on in, shakes it up. Thanks, man. All right, no Appreciate problem. it. Thanks. So, new sign out of Pomona. So, that's the thing. You can go with a company like that, you know, or you can go with Powderless. That's something you're going to have to think about, but at least you know that there's that form factor out there. Yeah, the 27,000 includes everything. That's everything, but I think they charge separate for the ventilation system that that comes with it so if you want the ventilation system then you gotta you gotta pay extra for that so yeah 20, all the prices that i'm getting for you guys today that's for everything that you that you see so now we're gonna go check out this other company over here got some rolling if anybody's doing this type of printing you got a nice rolling machine Printable. So these guys are cool over here. We got Printomize. So Printomize, they're also selling their own printer. I believe this is a forehead system. Um, but yeah, this one here, they've got these two setups. Um, I believe they're they're local as well here in California. But they have two different setups that you can buy. Right here, you're going to see a demonstration of the DTF transfers that they do. These are cold pill. Yeah, these felt really good. I, I had one made yesterday. Probably some of the most vibrant transfers I've seen at this event are from this place right here. These are all their inks. There it is. 
so DTF. And they're also a transfer company, so just kind of like stalls, uh, Transfer Express and uh, you know other companies like uh, 613, um, they, they do full game sheets. So you can actually go to Printomize, upload your own artwork, and they do 24 inch by 24 inch. I mean, that's a game sheet right there. They do 24 inch by 24 inch game sheets and transfers, look at that. Yeah, that looked good. <laughs> Came out really nice. So, great company, guys. So, if you're looking for an alternative transfers, and I believe the price on the 24 inch by 24 inch transfers, these were uh, 20, twenty-four dollars a sheet, twenty-three or twenty-four dollars per sheet. But look at all the logos you can gang up. And that's a lot of logos that you can gang up and put on. And then, even if you come over here, they'll make you a free shirt. So you can get a free shirt made in your size and they'll give it to you and you can kind of feel the texture of that shirt and then as well they sell this machine here uh, you know along with that equipment there so uh, i want to say it was around the same price somewhere in the mid 20s uh, cool guys very cool company these are great machines here guys <laughs> that's a serious setup right there So, like I said, if you're trying to be a serious screen printer, <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's crazy. Hey, t-shirt packaging machine. Package all your t-shirts. I don't even want to know how much that costs. That's crazy. Look at that. Look at how awesome that is. Saves in labor. But, a lot of cool spring. Not spring. Spring. Screen printing companies out here. Racoma. There's a nice Mamaki right there. That's a nice setup. Really nice. Really cheap, affordable machines over here. I'll show you these heat presses. Um, this hat press kind of intrigued me. So, budget friendly. And the platen on this thing is very similar to the 360 IQ. So look at that. Thank you. Yeah. Notice the platen. It's got the round setup. Kind of like the 360 IQ. Nice open, but look at the price. 525 show price. But that's a cool setup. Might be probably a great budget friendly competition too yes, you know something that'll get you some nice hats i think definitely for the price this might be one of the better hat presses that i've seen in that range i definitely would take that over a heat press nation one that has kind of that just that arc that flat arc like i said again if you guys have any questions about stuff that you might want to see guys just post in the comments There's another another company here, Trotec Laser. They've got some laser engraving equipment there. That's next on my list eventually. I'd love to do my own patches and whatnot, but Racoma, Racoma definitely getting busy. They're doing a lot of stuff here. They're, they're getting down for sure. Racoma is definitely coming up. Ah, uh, good question. Let me ask. I don't know if that heats from the bottom. A lot of these DTF machines were claiming 100 plus on the washes. So let me ask. It looks good. It looks better than this cut. The other one. So that when you print on your speed, print the registration marks. Yeah, you want one that looks like a Hotronics? There you go. <laughs> Budget friendly as well. All right, so I'm just waiting for one of these reps. Then I'll ask them if this thing heats from the bottom. If it does, that's insane. That really is. Let's see if there, if I can see an element. I mean, I can always 
I don't see any type of element. It just looks like it's a platen. Yeah, in Southern California, we have three locations in California. But in California, I said, well, we have to do a lot of heat pressing. Well, yeah, these, like, like the these heat presses here. So I got a quick question on this that the YouTubers want to know. Does it heat from the bottom or no, just the top? Just the top. Okay. So there you go, guys. Just from the top, but still, this is, it's, it's a silicone flatten. I mean, this is right here where it's at. You're not going to ruin hats as much using that. Okay, so it's got that nice curvature. That's kind of what you want, especially for trucker hats. <laughs> okay, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, but still, even for that price, um, it's not bad. Yeah, they're definitely Hattronics knockoffs. <laughs> I don't know how long they'll last, but <laughs> I think I'd still go with Hattronics. I mean, having the capability of being able to heat from the bottom, personally, that's where it's at, you know. What up, man? What's up, man? A-Dub was right here earlier. Oh, I, I missed him again? You. Yeah, I was talking to him about you. Where'd he go? He was here somewhere. I was talking to him. <laughs> I found wearing, Stan. He's wearing all blue. All blue? All, all right. Blue. All blue. All blue. All blue jumps and blue around him. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, Chief. These, these are insane. If you're looking into DTG right now, this is a serious contender. Um, single head DTG, dual head DTG. But, oh my God, the colors that are popping off. These shirts are insane. I mean. The, yeah, the colors on these are really nice. You know, and that's the thing too, to the comment that, you know, I like mine made in the USA. I'm the same way. If I could find a product that's here in the USA, that's big to me because I'm supporting businesses that are here in the US, that are here in California. Uh, these people need your business to be able to survive. You know, I know some of these outsource overseas, but there's some companies that try to do things here. So that's important. So that's why you kind of want to make sure that support businesses that are local i mean Racoma. i just found out literally they're out of ranch cucamonga that's only 35 minutes for me so that's insane that this company's right there but i definitely think my next heat press that i'm looking into is going to be that one right there their digital display system on this heat press is absolutely insane guys so that's the heat press you want to look at so like i said you saw my last video where i was talking about heat presses so that was one of them that I mentioned. And that's the one that you should look at. So that one has the slide out tray, but again, the push button digital. Hey, what's happening? So the, the digital display is, is, it's all literal touch screen on that one. But I think that one kind of gives, you know, that, that gives a lot of companies a run for their money. That definitely gives Heat Press Nation a run for their money, but even though it doesn't have a pressure readout system, uh, the way this thing feels when you close it is absolutely nice. One thing I liked about this press here is the handle kind of extends outward. And when you hit this thing, it's very soft. It, you don't have to literally pound the heck out of it to get it to open. Uh, slide out tray was really nice on this one. You know, slides out pretty far. So this is definitely one that you need to look into, this press right here. Uh, good quality uh, but but again the thing I liked about this here this DTG system here was that these prints print in minutes within a few minutes this thing will print and literally over there when you press it uh, I think you hover it for just a few seconds and then you only have to press it for a few seconds so within a matter of you know four minutes five minutes total you can be done completely with a shirt, you know, full color spectrum out the door. So this, this setup can really open up your, you know, print on demand business right here to where you can do any shirt and just kind of get it on. So definitely look into Recoma guys out of Rancho Cucamonga, California, uh, embroidery. You know, they're all, all that equipment. They're, they're pretty awesome. And then of course we got Blanks Galore, Blanks Galore in the house. So if you're into 
sublimation paper. Uh, their sublimation paper kind of blew my mind because it doesn't bleed through. It doesn't bleed through. So definitely check out their sublimation paper and just their group period. They're, they're fantastic ladies. But yeah, literally what's cool about their paper is if you're into sublimation guys, you know with most sublimation paper, because I use text print, uh, XPHR, the ink will bleed through. So the ink bleeds through and that can transfer to your, your, your platen possibly. So they have a paper now that it doesn't bleed through. So the ink won't go through the top. So what does that do? When you're printing your sublimation project, there's no need for a cover sheet. I mean, you could put some parchment paper on top, but that's about it. There's, there's not gonna be any bleed through that can transfer to your heat press or that can transfer to, you know, which can cause transfers to bleed on other shirts. So that's pretty cool that, you know, they have that. Uh, here's a cool company, uh, Police Emblem Technology. So they're out of Mexico, but they do a lot of patches. So they do the heat, heat press patches. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite styles. It's like a rubberized, three-dimensional product. But, I mean, they got all kinds of heat press patches that you can do, twill style, 3D. I mean, a lot of stuff kind of like what Stalls is doing. So, definitely a cool company that you should look into. They do have a minimum, so check out the minimum uh, of what they're doing. But, yeah, they've got some really, really cool stuff. I'll show you one of the hats over here. Let's go look at the hat. It was, it was a pretty good logo that I seen on the hat. But, I mean, this kind of stuff right here is what elevates your business. So, pretty cool. Yeah, I agree. Everybody's paper is made overseas. <laughs> But I think if I'm going to use a sublimation paper, I definitely want a paper that's not going to bleed through. <laughs> and it's actually not a bad price. Uh, their, their paper compared to text print, very good price. Let's see. Yeah, Racoma for sure. Yeah, they make, they make nice heat presses. They've been trying to break off into the game, Racoma, with their heat presses. Uh, you've seen some influencers like Stan. Uh, a dub, you know, they've been reviewing some of that equipment. Um, so, yeah, they're trying to get out there and, and be recognized a little more. They have a great marketing team, and that's what's cool about Racoma. They're really taking a lot of influencers into mind. So, here's McLeod, guys. Of course, you know, everybody knows about McLeod. So, they've got a nice DTF system as well. They're over here putting in work, you know, showing how the DTF system works. So there you go. Again, a very quiet system. But again, you have to consider do I want this form factor that's almost an additional five, six feet, you know, in your garage. That'll take up a lot more space. Or, or if you were going to put this in a bedroom in your house, what's going to work better for you? This setup here which is also going to require a ventilation system so these ones here because you have this set up requires a ventilation system for the fumes so that's the benefit of the cobra flex powderless dtf it doesn't require that you don't have to have that ventilation system and have to deal with those fumes so that's something to consider also is that form factor and one less thing that you have to not only plug in at 200 at 220 volts you know, you've got to <laughs> hook all that stuff up wherever you're putting those those machines. So we got Epson in the house. So Epson definitely here. I thought they weren't going to be here, but they definitely are. So as you can see, the ever so popular F2100. So again, if you're in the DTG, this is one of the higher models that you can get right here. That's a nice setup, so expensive stuff. So it's really all about quality, man. You guys want to see the FlexFit booth? They got some pretty sick hats. Let's go over here.
Looks fit. Check out. Nice hatch. These are nice right here. I like these. Yeah, Jose, they got a lot of DTF printers here. Um, and a lot of them are the same, you know, the same looking style setup. So it's really a matter of, you know. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm a hat maker. Okay. Um, is it just one sample? Yeah. Okay. What were you looking for in particular? Well, I'm probably going to open up a wholesale. I'm live right now on YouTube, so I'm just kind of showing everybody your your hat variety and stuff. But, um, just the quality in general. Yeah. I, mean, I know you have the quality, but I wanted to see the new stuff, some of the newer hats that you guys had here. So these are, some of these are the new ones. Okay. We have a couple new ones. And this is one of your new trucker style hats? Uh, so that one, that, not really. What has, um, didn't they have? So the cool part about this one is that it has the, uh, not only is the snapback mesh, but it uh -huh. has the FlexFit technology on there. That's nice. So it's more comfortable. Very soft, guys. I mean, compared to my Yupong hat right now, I'd rather be wearing that. <laughs> so, cool. Thanks. Yeah. All right, so let's check this out. Look at these hats. These are sick. Imagine the stuff you can heat press on these hats. Get some chrome or something. But these are some hats I want to show you guys. These are nice right here. Uh, this series right here, this Flex Fit Delta. Oh my God. So if you got, if you make like corporate hats, like golf hats, these right here would be insane golf hats. Uh, this one right here, very sexy. Uh, but these would be super nice. They're super light. I mean, that material is just so soft, very flexible, very light, very light. So cool stuff. Cool stuff. Definitely. Hopefully, I can run into a dub. I've been trying to find that dude all day. I found Stan this morning. Stan Banks. yeah um so yeah when it comes to hats guys you definitely want to you know you have flex fit you know obviously you have alpha broder you have sns uh some of the other companies that you definitely uh can look at which hopefully they're here is pitbull so i'm going to show you pitbull they're a nice hat company uh i believe they're out of california too but then you got companies like um uh auto so auto the first the first one of the first booths i showed you auto's huge and they're out of ranch cucamonga so here's next level guys next levels in the house they pretty much have their whole lineup of stuff here uh showing the quality of their apparel uh they have a lot more stuff than bella canvas and then this place was pretty impressive here smart blanks so smart blanks but they got some cool stuff here so look up smart blanks Excuse me. Um, they got some really good apparel. Very nice hoodies. Good quality stuff on their hoodies. Uh, Hirsch. Hirsch over there. So we got some more embroidery equipment. So I'm going to take you over to Pitbull. So my wife tried to get some information from these guys yesterday. P-Style. Said they were a little snobby. Like they weren't really wanting to engage in talking. All that stuff. Don't know what the deal is with that, but oh well. They don't get my business because of that. Or any shout out video on YouTube. So cool. So we got more stuff here. I don't know what this is. Oh, Sandmar. So Sandmar. Nice. Okay. So again, Sandmar is another place where you can, you know, get a wholesale license and you can be able to get all kinds of different apparel, important company. Next level, American, Champion, Comfort. So yeah, a lot of different clothing you can get from this company too, as well as hats. 
I like Sandmar. Yeah. I mean, look at the quality. It's just a nice hat. Yeah, I like that. Look at that. That looks cool. It's like a sublimated forest in the background, and then they put a nice three-dimensional emblem on that. That looks cool, guys. Mahalo. Mahalo. That's what's up. All right, Pitbull. Stay focused. Lane 7. Those guys are awesome over there. They're giving away these really cool bags. So this goes on your back like a backpack. It's got the handle. My wife fell in love with these bags. She's like, go get me another bag. All right. So there's Pitbull. Pitbull, in my opinion, they had some of the sickest hats at this event. So they had a lot of fluorescent color stuff. I mean, they got some blinged out stuff, man. But they got some really cool fluorescent quality, too. I mean, this stuff was like on par. But look at this stuff. Look at this stuff. Look. That's some blinged out stuff right there. It's like a shiny, almost looks like a snakeskin material. But... stuff i mean they got all kinds of look at that polka dot that's sick well, here let me back up just so you guys can see the booth a little bit more but they got a big variety of hats I mean, they got all kinds of cool stuff here but look at that bucket hats bucket hats were hot this year i mean look at all these bucket hats guys So for you guys that are looking for, <laughs> all right, I'll go back to, which booth is that, bro? On the threading. Oh yeah, all kinds of hats. I mean, they got the digi camo buckets. They just got some really cool stuff. So check this company out, guys. Look at the plaid. Flat hats, those are dope. The bandana, that's tight. Look at that. Um, There's so much money to be made with this company right here, guys. So, here they are. Pitbull premium headwear. Again, I think they're out of, here. Here, hold on guys, I gotta try to put this in my bag real quick. I think they're, again, out of California. Pitbull. So if you guys are here in California, you guys can be able to see this. Oh, Hirsch. All right. I'm headed to Hirsch right now. So what's the question again? Let me go back. Hold on. Ask them what happens when the thread breaks on the Tajma where it colors the thread and it needs it. All right. Man, I got to go way over there. <laughs> gotta walk all the way over there. You owe me a beer. I'll send you my PayPal, let me know. <laughs> Here I go. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can find a rep here. What I'll do, that's on Madeira. There we go, guys, man. Really cool. All right, so these guys are kind of busy right now. It's the machine with the box on top of them. Green light. Let me know which one. To the left. That one? Is this the one you want to look at? Oh boy. Is it is it this one? Is this the one you're looking at? 
Say yes if that's the one, if this is the one right here. Okay. Are you a rep for them? Yeah. So I got a YouTube Probably. question because I'm live. Yeah. So this guy wants to know right here, ask them what happens when the thread breaks on the Cosmo where it colors the thread underneath it. You count stitches, so when the thread breaks, it knows exactly where, where we're at. You just pull some thread. Uh -huh. And uh, we get marker on the thread that shows where, where to start again. So it's just uh, start over by at that stitch. So you can tell the machine what stitch to start at. Is that good? Did you get that? Say heck yeah if you answered your question. <laughs> yeah, you saw me walk past his booth. He's like, hey, go back over there. I got a question to ask these guys. <laughs> and what's this cost? Uh, I talked to this guy. He knows the right. price. So my live YouTuber wants to know what's this machine cost right here? What it costs? Yeah. It, it's two different systems. So the color reel system is one system okay. and then an embroidery machine is a different system. Okay. So the color reel system you can put over any embroidery machine at market. It doesn't have to be Tajima even if the Tajima is maybe the best embroidery machine at the market, but it, it works with every embroidery machine. Okay. So for a six head system that we're looking at right now, it's about uh, 200,000. 200,000 yeah. for the coloring system? For the coloring system, yes. All right. What it does, it actually coloring the thread meanwhile we do the embroidery. Okay. If you film the units from the side, let me show you. Yeah. All right. From here. Live tutorial, guys. We don't use these threads. Okay. We use the one up there. Oh, so it's all white. So it's white and then, and then these units get dyed. Nice. Meanwhile, we do the embroidery. Cool. That is cool. We start the, the unit. That's got to be great for supply and demand when it comes to thread. It, it does. But it, it means also that you have no need to have a thread stock as you normally do as an embroidery. Right. Now you have all the colors that you need every time you need it and you don't get any thread stock over you just use the amount of thread and the color that you need very nice you just customize the colors anytime yes. you want very nice okay cool very nice all right i appreciate you answering that question guys all right any color man i'll confirm hold on i'll confirm is that is that pantone as well yeah we can do about 35 percent of all Pantone colors. Okay. So it means that we can do about 10 to 12 million colors. Oh, uh -huh. all right. <laughs> Does that answer your question? 10 to 12 million colors. <laughs> so there you go. That's a pretty wicked machine. If I had $200,000, I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty sick. So you don't have to, you can just buy one color. And that's pretty awesome. You don't have to buy, you know, especially when supply and demand when it comes to the thread. If they're out of a certain color, you know, you're kind of screwed. But that just, it doesn't matter what color you need to create. That's going to create it. Hey, you're welcome, Aldo. Crazy, crazy. Got some rolling machines. All right, let's see which way were we headed. We were headed... No, we were headed this way. All right. So yeah, as you can see, guys, I mean, coming through, yeah, there's a lot of cool equipment. Uh, definitely was, Burnside is here, We've got Burnside. If you guys are into flannels, adding flannels to your arsenal of stuff to, to do, I mean, that's pretty cool. Great collection. Burnside makes great clothes. I love their clothes. Uh, J America. I mean, look at that jacket. I mean, that's some high-end stuff right there. I mean, if you got embroidery machine or if you're using, you know, any type of cool transfers, I mean, they got some really nice stuff. I think when it comes to polos, embroidery is worth that. You know, especially with jackets like this. I mean, you can do nice transfers i mean this is a transfer right here this is spider but that's all three-dimensional that looks like a almost like a silicone transfer and then you got a flex transfer so 
Nice stuff. Barracudin. Hey, no problem. I'm, this is why I came back. I wasn't going to come back today because I came yesterday and I filmed a lot of vendors. I actually got to know the vendors and what they were doing. And I actually talked to a lot of vendors about their companies and everything so I can make videos about these vendors and introduce them to you guys. So today I actually wanted to come back and just kind of film the whole place itself because there's a lot of great vendors here that you guys need to know about that are here, local, United States or California. This company here, if nobody knows about Baymar, awesome jackets and hoodies, guys. They got some really cool stuff here and fantastic wholesale prices. So if you're looking for wholesale on hoodies, I mean, they got some wicked stuff. Good quality. Uh, I think yesterday when I talked to them about wholesale pricing, I mean, they were saying, I mean, these things are soft. Look at that. They were talking about, uh, you know, 10, 11 bucks for hoodies. And that, I believe that was for like this style hoodie over here. But I mean, look at the inside. You got the, the cotton on the inside. If you're a Green Bay fan, which they lost yesterday to my 49ers, Here's your hoodie right here. <laughs> uh, go Niners. But yeah, awesome stuff, man. But yeah, that's why I came back today, guys, because I wanted to go live and I wanted to be able to highlight the event itself. So for those that didn't want to attend because of safety reasons or have never been to the show, well, now you guys kind of have an idea about the show what it is, the quality of the products I hear, the different vendors. I mean, all the free stuff you can get here. Uh, the transfers alone, man, I got stacks and stacks of transfers yesterday. All right, look, another machine. Let's go check this one out. What is this here? hat company here King Dao Dai Chang Caps Company DBA <coughs> Direct Caps Direct Caps related to my So here's some cats popular hats right here the Richardson's guys So we got the Richardson caps right here so give me a second she's talking to somebody and then maybe i can see if she's willing to talk about their company i like these right here guys these fluorescent hats i think that's pretty cool stuff to do for like motocross or you know certain events i think that's a hot seller right there these fluorescent richardson's all right well She's talking to some guy right now, so we'll come back. So again, if you guys have any questions about different products, uh, this company is cool right here. Uh, so this company is Awkward Styles. Yeah, so Awkward Styles in partnership with Lane 7. They are actually a print-on-demand company, uh, kind of like Printify, but they really tailor to your needs. Uh, one of the questions I asked them yesterday was, are you going to be incorporating neck labels into your stuff? And they did say, yeah, they will be incorporating neck labels. So uh, definitely a print on demand setup. If you guys are into print on demand, they've got the DTG. Um, I think their print scale was pretty small though. When I asked them what print size they were using, they said like seven by 12. I was like, what? No, you need bigger than that. Cool company here, Threadfast Apparel. Let's go check them out. Best apparel. You mind if I show the YouTubers your booth? All right. How you doing today? Good. 
That's good. All right, guys. We're checking out Thread Fast Apparel. We're going to see what they got here. Check it out. Look. Got some custom stuff here. I love their booth. I think they have one of the sickest booths here. But look at that jacket there. Oh, this stuff here. Look at that. I love the neon. They got the legit setup here, man. It looks good in here. Little palm trees. That's a nice, nice setup there. Uh oh, just packing a little junk there. Oh. You mind at talking to the, uh, the the YouTubers real quick about your company? Just kind of let them know what you're all about. All right. Well, this is Threadfast. We're a wholesale company. We distribute through Alpha Broder. Okay. What's cool about us is we have some really like um, high-end where you can get items. New puffer is amazing. It's made from a vegan leather. It's now, super soft. Now, do you guys only do things through Alpha Broder or you have your own? Alpha Broder only. Okay. But what's cool about our jackets is they have a zipper to unline so you can take out the yeah, lining and so if you're course. embroidering or if you're printing, it's not going to mess up the jacket. Right. Um, our bomber are, is probably the most popular. Yeah, that's um, nice. We came out with a vegan leather bomber this year cool. and then we also came out with these sort of, um, you know, letterman jackets. It's, it's always a plus. <laughs> I know. Those and are great too. These are new as well. We have the Sherpa lined um, jean jacket because everything vintage come back, comes back around. Yep, I noticed that. I know. And so we have um, our jean jackets. The white is new. Um, come on. We got this is our active wear, our um, impact wear. Yeah. These so colors I'm, are nice. I love the collars. Yes, exactly. The collars on those. And everything, nice. like, I wish you could feel it because it's yeah. super soft. Yeah. Um, that is soft, guys. And if you, I'm wearing the the yoga pants. They're pretty awesome. They feel so good. They look soft. They also we have um, joggers too. Very nice. They come in camo black and then a heather black. Great, great workout wear. And then this is all um, our tri blend t-shirts. Really, really soft. Very nice. Um, this one's done by screen printing on the inside, and then it kind of bleeds through and gives this sort of vintage look. Huh, cool. Yeah. And then um, this is our color wheel for our ultimate tees, so you okay. can just see all the colors we have. We also have the option of these prints. Very nice. Then we have our, I'm wearing this because I got cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a nice little sweater. Um, these are our ultimate fleece. Uh, we have a jogger in the fleece as well. That's always good. And then we get over to our ultimate tee, which is 60-40 blend. Again, really, really soft and um great for printing and yeah cool i think that's it <laughs> well appreciate it well there you go guys if yeah. you guys have an account with alpha broder wholesale you guys can order red fast apparel so check them out yeah. so there you go well thanks ladies yeah, no problem. appreciate it are the hats are the hats free samples oh, yeah give me a we have a large or medium we have a medium yeah Nickelodeon. very cool look at that guys <laughs> that's awesome yeah. thank you very much i appreciate it all right Yeah. That was a cool booth. That was a really cool booth. <laughs> hey, neon's crazy, man. I bought an expensive Budweiser neon. That thing broke. I was mad. They said Alpha Broder's here. So Alpha Broder, they got all their stuff here. Just highlighting all their apparel. So, yeah. Alpha Broder. Very cool. I got the spider stuff. Look at this stuff. It's nice. Spider. Spider's making some cool stuff, man. So check. Ooh, look at that vest. Very good. Very good. So 
but here we are back at stalls. So I think we got a couple more stuff this way, and that's about it, guys. So JXT Apparel. Let's go see these guys. Here we go. Quality patches. There we go. Oh, PVC silicone. That's what I'd be curious about. It's PVC silicone patches. Yeah, this is what I want to start getting into right here. Heat press, silicone. Those are cool. I think there's so much money to be made in these kind of patches right here. Yeah. That's cool. So the biggest size we can do is right there. <laughs> so what's the minimum on patches? Uh, different types, the embroidery and chenille, 10 pieces. Okay. And on the PVC and uh, lapel pins, yeah. Do you guys have uh, heat applied PVC patches? We, uh, there are two options. Either you can go silicone, which is a perfect heat applied. Uh -huh. You can do it from the top. That would be something like this. The details yeah. go a bit less, like you can't have too many colors on right. it, right? That's cool. So, but you can do it right from the top and you can get individual edges like this. Yeah. And on this, you need to heat apply from the bottom. Right, so that's where the 360 not, IQ yeah, press comes yeah, in handy. Yeah. Yeah. I have that one. Absolutely. Specifically so for this stuff. <laughs> so this would work on that. Okay. So you heard that right there, guys. If you need to do these kind of patches, getting a 360 IQ hat press is going to be your, your best bet. So uh, do you guys have a, you guys do wholesale with these we two? Or? custom patches only. Okay. So it's going to be your design. Right. And for embroidery and chenille, it's just a 10 piece minimum. Okay. So this also 10 piece minimum. Good leather patches, guys. Look at that. And where's your company located out of? We're in Torrance. In Torrance. The oh, that's cool. We're in Pakistan. We own it. We make it ourselves. So do you guys make it in Pakistan and then pick up in Torrance? Ship it, no, ship it direct to you. Okay. So it comes by FedEx and it's right to you within two weeks. Very cool. Can I get a brochure? Do you guys Absolutely. have? Can I give you a brochure and some samples? Yes, well. please. Do you guys have any of the silicone patches or samples? I don't have that as sample right okay. now. I could give it to well, maybe you. Maybe I can contact you and Absolutely. then. Because I'm a YouTube influencer too, so. Oh. Really? You know, I, I make super. hats and yeah. Okay. It's a great way to highlight the company and yeah. hold on guys, I'm getting some uh, brochures and samples over here. This is this is a cool company right here. I like their stuff. So, yeah, we're we're live right now, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah. So this is the sample set. All right. And did I scan you already? They're cool. No, go ahead, scan me. Why didn't I scan you? Good. Good to go. All right. I look forward to doing some passes at home. Very good. Yeah, I'll contact you because that's what I want to get into right there. Uh, okay. I, I need to start making videos with that. Okay, let me just uh, <laughs> make a note and get let me Let me give you my card too. So here's my card. Thank you. <laughs> this different. Well, I made it myself. Check out my channel, check out my company. Essential brand. <laughs> but yeah, here's some more patches, guys. Look at these. The color vibrant tree is great on these. Uh, I don't think SS Activewear is here. They're not here. Uh, so, yeah, good luck with Richardson hats, man. <laughs> they're they're really not. But I'll find out. I'm gonna go back to that one lady and see if they have stock. <laughs> All right, I think we're done here. So yeah, cool. But this is uh, with all the information. Quality patches, quality punch. Hey, can I can I get one of those brochures? Great. 
Thank you. All right, cool. So here's the here's the name. And here's the website. So if you guys want to look them up real quick, you can check them out. Uh, all right. So, all right. Let me go back to that hat lady and see what's up. But you, yeah, I mean, I've been trying to get more Richardson myself because I just love those hats. The red caps. Yeah, I don't even, I'm surprised like other companies like Richardson. Yeah, she's too busy. But yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say probably within the next few months, it might open up again. So, I think that's it, guys. That's it. So, I'm going to go ahead and sign on out. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Definitely going to take this content we made here today. And, uh, oh, here's another DTF machine. Oh, here's a company, too, if you need pre-treated garments for DTG printing. There you go. Teeter teeth. Already pre-treated. So, here's another DTF machine here, guys. So, as you can see here. Let's see, there you go. That form back there again. I think if I was to get one though, this is probably the setup that I'm gonna get right here. Uh, I think STS sells this machine as well. Uh, that's a nice, it's a nice setup. I like it. Yeah. This company's got all kinds of cool vinyl. Crank on heat transfer vinyl. Um, see if I can find. Let me see here. All right, guys. That's about it. So, if you guys like the content today, give me a thumbs up. Like this video, please. If you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, please subscribe. So, appreciate you guys hanging in there. Like I said, go 49ers. Everybody seems to be kind of breaking down. They closed at 3 today, so a lot of people are ready to get the heck out of here. <laughs> so definitely uh, keep an eye on the channel. We'll be making some very cool content within the next uh, few weeks. We'll be kind of breaking down all the different vendors I talk to and kind of just giving you an idea of who they are as a company, where they're from, and what they do. So. This is how we support the industry. We actually talk to the vendors and we get to know them. So, till the next video, guys. My name is James with Essential. Peace out.